Hey guys, what's up? It's in here. So guys, I wanted to make a video of how I will go about creating my very first website if I was to start. So I've been developing websites for the last three years and I feel like I've cut down on a lot of the things that you don't necessarily need or just a more streamlined approach. So let's get into it. So I like to work with WordPress just so that way it's clear. I don't use Wix. I don't use HTML websites too often. Um, I, I preferably like to scale my businesses with WordPress and whether that's in Web 2 or Web 3, it's very adaptable for both sides. Now let's take, for example, if you had a customer come with you and they had a .com, okay? Um, or if you wanted to buy a .com, it's a very similar process. Because most people actually, ironically enough, start out at GoDaddy. And with the GoDaddy, they are a lot slower as far as the hosting. But a lot of people end up buying their .coms and then they end up using the name servers to transfer the hosting somewhere else. So just because you buy a .com does not mean that people can just go to your website that is on the front end like this. So this allows you, like if you have hosting, to give to your front end users, but you have to pay a monthly fee for that. So another place people like to use to go buy .coms is Google Domains. Hosting. Sorry, not hosting, just Google Domains. And with Google Domains, you can just type in your name, for example, like SEO Design Lab dot design. Wait, I think I own that one. So let's just say um, SEO Design I can't think. Zen Design, okay. So as you can tell, when you type it in, I can buy the .com, I can buy the net, the org, the XYZ, the info. And if you're launching a brand, generally you do want to snipe up the .nets, the org, the XYZs, and infos, and so forth. As many as you can, because you want to brand it out. That's the thing. People like to buy all these other ones too, but it's not necessary. So, you know, we would select this, and then you can hit this Add to Cart. Now again, this is not where you're hosting, this is just where you're buying the .com. And if I'm not mistaken with the Google Domains, first of all, it's a very streamlined process, it's super easy, I mean, it's amazing. And um, I think they give you free privacy protection, which basically, from a outsider's view, they can't just look up your website using something like Whois, and it won't tell them who bought the .com. It actually does it like a proxy, it hides the information kind of like how this is domains by proxy, registered by proxy, by proxy, email, blah, 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 by proxy. And, and if you would email this, it would get forwarded to the actual customer's email. So, yeah. Um, but, and you can buy your hosting through here. But what I like to personally use, I'm not showing this by any means, I promise, is WPX. Okay. So, Let's just say, just real quick, if you wanted to buy a .com, you know, you'd find, it should be very similar. You want to find like your domains, and then you'll have a little bit different one because, you know, you shouldn't have an account, but basically you want to get to like a search page on this website, and, you know, we'll just do the same thing. So do Zen Design, and the same thing here. So it pulls the same information, you can buy the .com. And the cool thing is, it's when you register through here, you can go ahead and set up your hosting account. You can do that with GoDaddy. Uh, so with GoDaddy, it's like $8 a month. But I'm telling you, host, hosting with these guys are way better. So let me give you the pricing sheet. Hosting with uh, WPX host pricing. So let's see your plans. Check this. Oh, wait, not this one. Maybe it won't show me because I'm signed in. Hosting plans. 
Um, here, I'll do it offline. I apologize. So, WPX hosting pricing. All right. Yeah, because I'm signed in. Anyways, so I'm running this one right now. I'm actually paying more, so that's cool. Like, they're getting me pretty decent there. But I can hold 35 websites. So for $20 a month, you can have your .com be live, but you can also add four others because this gives you five. I mean, that's great. So it allows you to scale. Like, let's say you get good at designing things. Well, just go sell this, go sell the service. So you have your website and then you can add others that will pay for your website, right? Because you're making revenue off the other ones or you're doing services for other people and then you're hosting their websites, kind of like what I do. So like for my customers, I give them free hosting. Like if you come with me, I would put you underneath here and it won't cost you, let's say $10 a month or $7 a month or $20 a month. Instead, you're with me. You're just paying me in a different way. Anyways, uh, so once you have your .com, in my opinion, get a hosting account with WPX. I'm telling you, it's $20 a month. You'll have your website underneath your managed websites. So at this point, what you want to do is, real quick, you can make up, you can clone any one of these live sites so you can start editing on um, a second .com, which is pretty cool. You just do something like that, and then you can select a domain and deploy the staging. So this runs alongside the live, and when you want to go and push your offline edits, you can send it right to the live site. So that way you can confirm on the backup site, basically you could say, that there's no issues because it copies the live site. I don't really use this so much these days. I'm more experienced. But I definitely, when I used, started using this, I use this all the time, trust me. Um, I, it just was a safer method to make sure I didn't screw up in a major way. But as you get more experience, you learn that, you know, you don't need to do that. So in this case, what we want to do, guys, is just simply add a new website. Now, at the moment, it's sitting over here in um, GoDaddy. So if I was to put this in... What is this? Close this. Close some of these extra windows. So right now, this website's at GoDaddy. I need to get it to WPX Hosting. So first, um, I may have to make this video in parts. So what I'm going to do is obviously put the .com here and then hit install. And then we're hit next. And then we're going to fill out some information. So this is from the last account. So we'll try to set up to this one. Sometimes my email bugs out, but it should be fine. And then it's a really pain right here on this um, this part. So what we're going to do is when we're going to add, I should have a password for this thing. So I'm just going to pop like a a dummy one. Sometimes you can hit the generation tool, but Again, this thing kind of bugs out, but you do have to have some really crazy special characters, kind of a pain, but you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I got faith. Um, and then make sure this is checked and then just hit continue. And then boom, we're working on adding your awesome website and your hosting account. This right here at the top, I wouldn't save. Say no thanks. Because I think it's trying to save your that information to like a login on WPX. And that's not exactly how you get on your website. Uh, you can close this, it's good. And this thing is gonna run. And if you have, for example, like your emails, notifications on your phone, then when this is done, it's gonna notify you. It's pretty cool. Um, so while that's running, let's try to do the next step. So hopefully I kind of broke that down. Um, in case you guys didn't understand, we created a WordPress website. So the WordPress website is going to give us a nice user front end experience. It's very easy to build when I teach you the plugins to use. So you can design this for yourself. You can design this for businesses, whatever you want to do. If you're interested in blockchain, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, whatever it may be. Um, for example, look, I even have a Solana wallet uh, function for 
my own website. And so it, it connects to a minting process to Metaplex if I wanted to at some future point. Anyways, um, that's way more advanced. So what we want to do is you want to manage the DNS of the website you want to work on. So you, you can click, I think it's either this one or this one. Let's try the DNS first, see what it says from this point. Which, no, it's not that one. Wait, it is that one. I'm sorry. Let me go forward. And then here's where we're looking for. Okay. So the way hosting works is it's based off of where your .com is. Do you understand that? So we bought our .com through GoDaddy. Same thing, if we would have bought it through WPX, it would have their name server's information. So it's using the default one. Hopefully I broke that down. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, please drop them in the comments below and I'll address them. I'm, I plan on remaking these, these series. So we just want to change our name servers. Um, and these dashboards are always updated, so maybe sometimes you'll see processes or steps a little bit differently than how in this video, but it's all good. So we're going to enter, enter my own name servers advanced, and then we're going to pin in our WPX hosting. Now you can very easily get this information. Oh look, cool. So our website was successfully added. Um, but I want to make something clear because I did not add the name servers yet. It's still going to show the GoDaddy. Okay. So until I update this information and basically it takes up to 24 hours for it to fully, um, go through the web. Once that happens, then this will this will change to a WPX hosting like default background or something, I believe. Um, and then as you're building on this instance, see how it's like manage WPress, uh, that update will come through. And there's a process to get into this while this is moving over. But it's a little bit more advanced. We'll cover that in some in the later videos. But for now, let's get back to the name servers. So I have my name servers already saved somewhere, which is right here. So the first one I want to put in is this one. And then we want to capture the second one. Did it again. Nice. This one right here. And then all we have to do is hit save. Now this may ask for a verification process because of the owner, so um, I might I might have to cut the video here, or you know we'll see how it goes. So change the name service risk, da, da, da. verify your identity before the name service. So let's just see. Um, but I I do consent, and then it sent an email to the owner. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get this um, information. And I feel like I might have the actual Gmail account. So let me go through my notes real quick on this account. Should be right here. Um, it's a Gmail, right? Sorry about this. All right, so I'm going to try to sign into the Gmail over here on this other computer for now. And I have to obviously get this one time password. So I just got to add another Gmail 
and put my customers in. These are things we have to just kind of walk through. I'm not exactly sure if this is the same password for this Gmail account, but we'll try it. Okay, guys. You open the Gmail app on Chris's and his phone. Da, 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 da. I can't get through. Log on the. Um, trying to log in. Gotta verify the name servers. Request. <clears throat> All right, so obviously I might have to cut the video here until this um, I get this code. This is obviously the last code, but um, basically once you once you verify, usually this is on any other domain. This is why it's kind of important to look WordPress has successfully installed on this website. Um, that's why it's important for you to kind of buy your dot coms where you plan to host again i preferably like to play my premium and use wpx trust me i've been doing this for years now so i like what works and this scales my business i have multiple accounts underneath these i mean this is just one up to 35 i have I have a lot of these so okay since we're waiting for this code um, it's going to have to be in another video. Let's go ahead and stop it here. And I'll make a, another video that explains how we can start building this in the meantime.